I'm Joanna and welcome to this video. Now in this video I'm going to be talking about footwear and how to choose the right shoes for when you start to learn walk active. Now this has been a very very popular question and lots of you have asked me um, about this specifically for when we start our Get Started Walk Active program here on Facebook which is going to be a closed group and it's me taking you on a 10 day program uh, with little video clips to help you really benefit from the walk active system so you get the basic technique into your body. So what I'd like to do in this video is maybe go through some basic considerations for thinking about your right footwear and then also what I want to share with you is some of the shoes that I have within my current wardrobe for my own personal walk active practice so I hope you find this helpful. So um, there are some general considerations that in my experience as a creator and founder of Walk Active I think makes a huge difference to your enjoyment and your ability to feel the benefits of the programme. Now with Walk Active there are four parts to the technique, it relates to your feet, it relates to your hips, it relates to your head and shoulders and it also relates to your arms. But with your feet, um, it, that's really like the first element, it really comes out of your feet. So you would like um, ideally to find footwear that allows your foot to spread and allows your foot to be mobile and pliable. So in that sense, I think there are four things to consider when you're choosing your wardrobe, uh, your footwear wardrobe. The first thing is that you want to have um, a shoe that's got a wider toe box, just a wider toe box. Now the benefit of that means that when you're using your your with well, your foot you'll be able to spread your toes more and that's going to be quite an important aspect of when you start to put the basic element of having an active foot and an open ankle into your foot that will help your posture it helps the correct alignment from the foot going up into the knee and into the hip so it reduces knee pain and ankle pain and the program's been specifically shown to do that so having a wider toe box allows the foot to spread and then that means you can use the toes more effectively as well that's the first thing. The second thing that I would encourage you to do is to think about having a square toe box. Now the benefit of having a square toe box as opposed to more of a tapered toe box is when you use your foot and you come through the foot, when you have a square toe box it means that you can actually push evenly off your big toe, your middle toe and your little toe all at the same time and that will assist the correct tracking from your foot going into your knee and going into your hip and again that's what's been shown as part of the, one of the um, statistical benefits of the Walk Active program to reduce the stress impact through those parts of your body. So a wider toe box and a square toe box. The third thing that I would encourage you to do is think about having a little bit of support around the, the ankle element. Now, by having a little bit of support around the ankle element, um, it means that the ankle is going to be fixed. If the ankle is too rigid, that's going to be harder for you to actually achieve the open ankle, which then allows, the, again, the correct muscle recruitment going up through the leg. And it also means that the ankle can be too stiff, so you don't actually allow the foot to develop its sort of um, flexibility and its balance receptors as well. But some shoes, such as maybe you'll think about doing this in a fit flop, or maybe I know some of you are going to be in warmer climbs, so you might be doing this in summer sandals. I'd really kind of encourage you away from that when you're going to be doing the daily tasks I'm setting you on my 10 day program. Because I'd really like you to think that you've got the best footwear for you to be able to apply what I'm asking you to do. So at this current moment of time, having sandals or fit flops is not really what. Um, I, I would advocate but one of the joys of Walk Active is because it relates to how you use your body as a whole you can definitely think about using Walk Active in every element of your life but for the discipline of this program think about a wider toe box, a square toe box, having support in the ankle and then my fourth element would be to actually have more of a neutral toe bed, to toe bed. and the benefit of that means that when you use the foot you're actually going to be using the foot evenly rather than actually being more weighted at the front of the foot which is sometimes happening as if you haven't got a, a neutral toe bed okay so those are the four things that I would encourage you to do so get your shoes out have a look at your trainers see how they are um, I'm not saying to you, you've got to go out and get new shoes not at all in any shape or imagination but find something that's flexible it's comfortable and it's going to be um, conducive for you to put some of the tasks on the set within uh, the program so I hope that helps now, I've got down here a selection of some of the shoes that I currently have in my walk, walk active wardrobe and I just thought I might share these with you um, because it might maybe resemble some of the shoes that you have within your wardrobe. So, the first one is a Nike trainer. Um, I picked these up actually at an airport because I was going on a work trip 
and actually no it's a, a, a little family trip and I'd forgotten to pack my trainers which is a bit stupid but anyway I did so I basically picked these up grabbed them on the go and the reason I picked these up on the go was because actually they had a really nice flexible sole and that for me was really important so I like the flexible sole of these what I'm not quite so keen on this is my own personal preference is can you see here how the toe box is more tapered um, rather than square so that means when I'm actually walking, I feel it's encouraging me to come through more my big toe as opposed to having a cr the right relationship between the big toe, middle toe and little toe all at the same time as I push off the third. But I do love the flexibility. I'm also quite partial to the colour. Um, the other drawback about these is I would say that the ankle doesn't really have any support at all. So you can see here there's a lot of movement. And the Achilles generally has about a four degree sort of range, which is kind of okay. But if you have a tendency to roll in a little bit, then when you have less stability in the ankle area, that can exacerbate maybe any sort of potential rolling in and sort of incorrect alignment from the leg going into the shoe. So that's what the drawbacks, <coughs> excuse me, of these shoes. So that's a Nike cheap and cheerful trainer. I think it was about 40 pounds. Now, the second shoe that I have in my wardrobe, which I've kind of recently come across, um, various people have written to me about it and I've heard good things, so I've tried, I've tried it out. This is an Ultra shoe. Now, what I like about this shoe is, first of all, it has a neutral toe bed all the way through, which is lovely, which encourages you to use foot properly all the way through the mechanics of the shoe. Second thing I like about it is this nice wide toe box. And the third thing I like about it, I'm not sure if you can see here, it's actually got a squarer toe box. So again, it's encouraging that relationship through the big toe, the middle toe, and the little toe, which is important as you peel through the foot. The downside for me personally about this shoe is that it's a little bit stiff, a little bit stiff for me personally. However, I think the shoe is fantastic if you are new to Walk Active and you're needing a, um, a shoe where your foot can really spread. I've got lots of sort of new clients are doing this and they're reporting great things, they really like them, it's super comfortable. And you've also, as you can see, got a little bit more support through the ankle element. So that is an ultra shoe and I'll put the links down below this post, okay? Uh, okay, next shoe I'm gonna show you. You may well have this type of shoe in your wardrobe, I'm not too sure. It's what I would probably call a kind of a bog standard trainer, even though ASICs would be very upset if I said that they're a bog standard trainer because they're not, they're really quite super. But it probably is reflective of some of the qualities that you might have or you might consider within a training shoe. It's very supportive, it's got good ankle support, it's built up a little bit higher in the arch. Um, I like the colour. Uh, but you can see here with the toe box that it's slightly more rounded, so it's actually going to encourage you to come through more um, onto the big toe element rather than having that even push through big toe, middle toe, little toe, which is so important for your alignment. It's a little bit stiffer as well, but um, if you have this within your wardrobe, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I would encourage you maybe to loosen off the laces a little bit so it encourages your foot to spread a bit more. And the other thing I would probably say about this is um, just check that you've got room at the top of your shoe as well. In my experience with Walk Active, your foot is going to become a lot more mobile in your shoes. And if your shoe is a little bit on the fitting clip side already, what will happen is that your big toe can slightly kind of come in contact with the front of the foot here and that can be a little bit uncomfortable causes bruising on the on the nail bed and that's not so comfortable. So make sure you've got a little bit of space at the front so your feet can move because they certainly will start to do that as you increase the mechanics and improve the mechanics of your foot and improve your balance as well. Now my last shoe I want to share with you is um, a Merrill Bear Access Flex 2 and I've just received this. This is why they looked really clean compared to the others we thought had good a good sort of a walk active action now this shoe is great because it's got a nice wide toe box it's got a square toe box it's neutral way through it's got good support around the ankle and i think it's a really nice shoe to uh learn walk active progress your walk active it's quite flexible as well the one that it preceded was the merrill bear access which actually was a really nice um 
well, it was one of my personal favorites for Rock Active. And one of the reasons why I have such a sort of range of shoes to share with you is I'm, I'm still trying to find my ultimate Rock Active shoe that I feel really, really like. That's my number one and I haven't quite found it yet. But I think this is a really nice shoe. It's a little less forgiving the, than the Ultra shoe. So this will give you a little bit more support if you feel that you want a bit more support. Whereas this is going to give you a little bit less, but you'll be able to feel your foot spread wide square toe box nice flexible sole um, and that's a really a good shoe to start you on your walk active journey as well okay so i hope you have found this helpful please leave me a little message below i'm trying to see if i've got any more shoes down here to share with you um, please leave me a message below um i'm really passionate about walk active and i really i really believe it can do great things and it really makes your walking you know help you look better and feel better and perform better but you don't have to have masses of really expensive kit. So please don't feel you've got to go out and spend money to do and get started with my, my program here on Facebook, which starts on the 28th of February and it's run to the 8th of March. So you don't have to do that. But what I would encourage you to do is get your trainers out, get your shoes, have a little look, decide which ones are, are going to be good for your daily tasks. And then you might also want to think about what other shoes are going to be good, maybe when I'm you know, going through the 10 days so I can actually keep my practice going right through the day. Because the more you practice these really small, simple tasks that I'm doing, it really becomes very profound with the benefits that you feel in your body. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. Please leave me a little comment below. And um, yeah, I really am looking forward to us getting started on our program on February 28th. Take good care, people, and let me know if you found this helpful and anything else that I can help you with. Take care. Bye-bye.